While it's not common, the water pumps on the Rover V8 engines can break or fail, and when it does, you'll be on the fast track for overheating. And if you know anything about these engines, overheating them is the absolute worst possible thing that you can do. So if you ever think your water pump might be going out, it's probably a good idea to replace it. Now replacing the water pump isn't exactly a difficult job, but you will need to remove the serpentine belt and the cooling fan. I've made a video for both of those, and you can find a link to the videos either in the description or in cards in this video. So the first thing you'll do after removing the serpentine belt and the fan is remove the three bolts that hold the pulley onto the water pump. Now even though there's six holes on the pulley, there's only three bolts, so don't lose them. And once you've removed the bolts, go ahead and remove the pulley. Now I skipped ahead here because removing the water pump and the water pump bolts is pretty self-explanatory. You've got nine bolts, three of which are longer than the others. Now if you've never removed your water pump or you don't know how long your water pump has been in there, the bolts might be a little rusty and it might take a little extra elbow grease to break them loose. I think there are three bolts that actually go through water jackets, so they're actually exposed to the engine coolant. Now be sure to remember where those three longer bolts go. So in my case, I was doing an overhaul on the cooling system and the water pump was really just fine. It didn't really need to be replaced, but I went ahead and replaced it anyway. You can see some deposits in the channels where the water flows, but it's really not that bad. So the new water pump is the exact same design. It's very shiny and well-made and it comes with its own gasket, which is always nice. So like most things engine related, installation is reversed from removal. When I put the water pump on, I put the three longer bolts in first, that way there's no confusion or mix up, and I put all the other bolts in, and I tighten the bolts down like you would tighten the lug nuts on a wheel. Don't go counterclockwise, go in kind of a star shape, or whatever you want to call it. But it's important that there's an equal amount of force all around the gasket so that the water pump won't leak. And then finally go ahead and put the water pump pulley on, put the serpentine belt back on, and put the cooling fan back on. And there you go, you've just replaced your water pump.